Okay, now I'm going to show you how to uh, communicate between MATLAB and your Arduino board. So, first thing I'm going to do is start up MATLAB. While that is starting up, I'm going to open up Chrome. And I'm going to search for, for the uh, program packet that we need. So, our Arduino MATLAB. Right there, Arduino support for MATLAB. There is a software package, support package, that we're going to want to download. So I'm going to download all. It's a little zip folder here. Open up that zip folder, and I'm going to move this into a place where I will know where to find it in uh, my documents, my MATLAB folder. I'm going to create a new folder called Arduino IO. You put out. Then I'm going to copy all these. files into that folder. Okay? Now, before MATLAB can communicate with the Arduino board, we have to make the Arduino board listen for MATLAB's prompts. To do that, we have these, uh, these uh, PDE files that we need to open with our Arduino application that we downloaded in the last screencast. So I'm going to open up that application right here and I'm just going to open up that Arduino RDO SRV.PDE file in there and basically all this does is each time the Arduino board cycles it goes through its loops it, it through its loop and it, it listens for prompts through the USB cord from MATLAB so all we need to do my, my Arduino board is hooked up via USB cable we just need to upload this program to the Arduino board. So that has successfully happened. Now we can close this, and we don't need to do this every time. We only need to do this once. Unless we uh, change the programming inside the Arduino board, and then when I go back to MATLAB, then we have to re-upload this, this, this file. So I'm closing all that, going back to MATLAB. Oh, no. One more thing. So we, uh, yeah. So in, we put all our MATLAB Arduino code code inside of this uh, this folder. MATLAB needs to know to look for that folder. So we need to set the path. I'm just going to add a folder with subfolders. I'm going to go to Tony, which is me, my documents, and then find that MATLAB and just say OK and save that so you can see it's found out the, the MATLAB code. So now we should be ready to try to communicate with the Arduino board. So we know that our Arduino board is on COM8. So let me show you how we, we did that. If you go to computer, show properties, go to the device manager, and then go to ports. And you can see the port that your Arduino board is on. It may be different than COM8. But we need to know that because we need to tell MATLAB where to look. So I'm going to start a little Arduino object in MATLAB. Let's call it A. It was Arduino, and then I've got to give it the COM port. And hopefully, this will connect. Excellent. So it has established connections, but none of the pins are, are assigned. Okay, let's just uh, quickly show that we do indeed communicate between MATLAB and the Arduino board. I'm going to assign a couple pins. Let's see. So I got A dot pin mode. And let's do 13 again, because pin 13 controls that LED. We can see it in action real quick. So we'll do 13, and this will be the output. Okay, so now we can uh, write to it. So I'm going to go a dot digital write in thirteen, 
then I'm going to give it the high value. Turn it on. Allow you off. On. So yes, we are communicating. 